The picturesque seaside community of Port La Serena was a haven for the well-to-do because of its abundant sunshine and emerald waters, which made it an appealing vacation destination. The opulent yacht Serenity's Grace, which belonged to Olivia Dawson and was anchored in the water off the coast of the Mediterranean Sea on a sultry morning in the summer of 2008, was enjoying the sun's radiance. Olivia had invited Dr. Alexandra Alex Crawford, a well-known marine biologist, to join her and her entourage on a cruise. Olivia's extravagant lifestyle frequently drew the attention of the media, and she wished that the presence of Alex would provide an opportunity to demonstrate her concern for the welfare of marine life and the environment. Alex could not shake the unpleasant feeling that something wasn't right as the yacht cruised leisurely in the distance. Her intuition led her to believe that the waters encircled Port La Serena held mysteries, and she was determined to discover what they were. Olivia's glitzy cocktail parties and her steady stream of distractions prevented Alex from immediately delving into the issue. One night, when the guests were enjoying themselves at a party under the stars, a story began that a woman had vanished after diving off the yacht. It was speculated in hushed tones that the dreaded Serenian predator was responsible for the catastrophe. Alex believed that the story of the monster shark was just a myth perpetuated by the community to lure in tourists. Although the story of the monster shark had been told for decades, she still did not believe it. Alex was motivated to take action as a result of the disappearance. She teamed up with Captain Benjamin Ben Chambers, a seasoned sailor with a profound understanding of the ocean's secrets, and Detective Victor Morales, a seasoned investigator with a flair for uncovering perplexing puzzles. Together, they were able to find the truth about what had happened. They banded together to form an improbable alliance with the common goal of learning the truth about what was going on. During their inquiry, Alex and her team dug into the past of Port La Serena. They found a pattern of inexplicable disappearances stretching back to the 1800s. The stories recalled eerie legends of a huge shark that was claimed to stalk the waterways, taking its prey with deadly accuracy. These tales were said to have been passed down from generation to generation. Alex and her pals unearthed a more sinister reality as they worked through the riddle. The Serenian predator wasn't simply a legendary creature. It was a crafty ruse designed by a cunning and evil group of individuals who utilized the town's terror to cover up their unlawful activities. They used the town's fear to cover up their criminal activities. The disappearances were always seen at the same time as substantial smuggling operations that were being carried out in the region. The perpetrators of the crime employed the urban legend of the Serenian Predator to deflect attention away from their actions by casting the gigantic shark in the offender's role. They went so far as to hire people to dress up as sharks and stage fake attacks to perpetuate the notion further. The people who were behind the lies orchestration opposed Alex, Ben, and Victor after they revealed the truth. The criminals were affluent folks who had a stranglehold over the town's economy and the local media. They were getting closer to the fact that Alex's life was in jeopardy, and their inquiry transformed into a potentially deadly game of cat and mouse. Alex and her team persisted in their mission despite the risks involved. They did this by collecting evidence, documenting the stories of eyewitnesses, and unraveling the web of deceit that the conspirators had built. Olivia Dawson, disillusioned by the dishonesty that surrounded her, decided to take the side of the investigators, which exposed the extent of her fragility, although she presented herself as wealthy. The pivotal truth revealed to the village's citizens was an exciting payoff for their tension. The true villains were uncovered and brought to light, and their deception-based empire was brought to its knees. The criminals were made to suffer the repercussions of their acts, which satisfied the need for justice. As the narrative drew close, Port La Serena started recovering from the scars its troubled past left. The town came together to express thanks because Alex, Ben, and Victor demonstrated bravery and tenacity. After Olivia realized her true purpose in life, she vowed to defend the ocean she had previously exploited by donating her fortune to environmental charities and committing to do so. It's possible that the Serenian predator was just a legend, Still, the truth about the dangerous creatures that lurked in the shadows had been uncovered. Thanks to their bravery and tenacity, 
Alex and her team were able to change the tide, ensuring that the waters of Port La Serena would remain untamed but free from fear. Ultimately, the story was not just about a shark killing a woman after she leaped off her yacht and into the water below. It was a tale of bravery on the part of individuals, the telling of the truth, and the tenacity of a community bound together by a shared desire for justice and redemption. In 1995, Elena Monroe and her diving partner, Dr. Ethan Sawyer, were preparing to embark on another adventure while on Haven Isle. It was a bright and sunny morning. Their objective was to investigate the migration routes taken by great white sharks. Haven Isle proved to be an ideal location for this kind of investigation. Elena and Ethan were trailblazers in marine biology, and their enthusiasm for the water had no bounds. As they dropped into the glistening waters on their yacht, the world's splendor under the surface gradually revealed itself to them. While beautiful rays floated effortlessly through the currents, Schools of brilliantly colored fish rushed about the coral reefs. But on this particular day, Elena noticed something unusual that drew her attention. A vast shadow was seen gliding gently across the depths of the room. Although it appeared to be a great white shark, there was something unusual about it. Elena had never seen anything like the markings on the animal's back before. The enigma of this creature so enthralled Elena that she decided to mark it for later investigation. Elena's stomach began to flip as she got closer to the shark, and she experienced a tingling sensation of exhilaration mixed with anxiety. It gave off the impression of being interested yet wary simultaneously, as though it knew she was there for more than mere observation. She proceeded to affix the tracking device to the shark's fin in an organized manner. She was unaware that the shark was uncomfortable while the tag was attached. In a matter of seconds, the peaceful environment of the undersea world erupted into mayhem. Elena and Ethan were in the path of the shark's oncoming charge when it became belligerent and began to thrash its gigantic body. Even though they could return to the research yacht in time, the experience perplexed them. This was not the typical behavior of a shark. Elena and Ethan studied the data from the tag once they had returned to the yacht. The distinctive markings on the shark allowed the researchers to determine that it was the same individual that they had seen five years before. However, it had grown to a monster size since then. The data also showed that the shark was in agony. They suggested that the shark's aggressive behavior was a reaction to the injury produced by the tagging procedure. As they deliberated on what course of action to take, word arrived on the island of a shark attack. The tourists quickly panicked, and the locals became concerned about their well-being. The experienced sailor in charge of the Atlantis Explorer, Captain Marcus Fletcher, volunteered to assist the people doing the research. The squad needed to rush to protect the people who lived on the island. Elena, Ethan, Captain Fletcher, and Mia, a young reporter covering the trip who was known for her daring and adventurous spirit, came together to formulate a strategy. They had to devise a plan to coax the hostile shark away from the populated regions and back into the open waters where it belonged. The crew used improved technology and materials to create a realistic-looking decoy, hoping to attract the shark and cause it to swim away from the island. Mia offered to play the decoy role because of her extensive knowledge of marine life, making her the ideal choice for the job. The crew quickly implemented their strategy while it was still dark outside. While Mia courageously took her place in the water, the others maintained a tight check on the tracking data to keep track of the shark's movements. The shark followed the decoy as it made its slow journey away from the island where it had been placed. The team watched with bated breath as the shark got fixated on the decoy, becoming oblivious to its surroundings. Elena and Ethan turned on the tracking device as soon as they entered deeper water. This allowed them to observe the shark's activity while remaining at a safe distance. They were taken aback when they saw a change in the manner in which the shark was behaving. It had rediscovered some dormant instincts since it became less aggressive and more interested. It moved fluidly through the open sea, its muscular physique sliding through the water currents. The results of the group's labor were satisfactory. The shark had successfully navigated safely back to its natural home from human habitation. Elena and Ethan felt relieved when they realized they had saved the islanders' lives and brought the shark some tranquility. 
The crew of the Atlantis Explorer gathered around on its deck as the sun began to rise on a new day to discuss the incredible journey they had just completed. Mia documented the entirety of the trip on film and is now prepared to reveal this wild tale to the world. In the days that followed, word of the mysterious shark and the brave squad that fought it and preserved their island quickly went worldwide. Elena, Ethan, Captain Fletcher, and Mia came to be regarded as heroes because their stories encouraged others to value and preserve the ocean's natural beauty. The event had a significant and long-lasting effect on each squad member. Elena and Ethan's dedication to their studies increased, and they prioritized safeguarding marine life and maintaining the integrity of delicate ecosystems. On Haven Isle, Captain Fletcher persevered to encourage environmentally conscious vacationing and conservation work. And as she shed light on the secrets of the natural world, Mia's passion for storytelling grew even stronger. Those who witnessed Elena Monroe and the majestic shark have their memory permanently marked by the mystery surrounding them. Because of this, the wild tale of the shark that had eaten a woman who had jumped off her yacht took an unexpected turn, evolving into a compelling narrative about compassion, understanding, and the unbreakable relationship between humans and the wild. In 2007, the moonlight lit Bayfield Island's calm waters as the sapphire star gently floated on the horizon. A young marine researcher named Isabella Bella Rivera waited at the vessel's bow, her eyes brimming with joy. Next to her was her daring and capable sailing companion, Alexander Alex Donovan, who had been her best friend for many years. Bella voiced her excitement, stating that she couldn't believe they were going to investigate the secrets of Bayfield Island and she went on to explain why. Alex grinned as he responded and mentioned that it would be an experience that they would never forget. Captain Jeremiah Jerry Blackwood of the Sapphire Star joined them and remarked that they were ready for the adventure of a lifetime, comparing their appearance to that of excited children on Christmas morning. Professor Victoria Vicky Thornton, a well-known marine archaeologist, guided their expedition to discover the ocean's mysteries. When the yacht stopped near the island, Vicky invited everyone on board to join her on the deck and welcome them, recounting the belief that Bayfield Island was protected by a legendary shark so large that it could consume a whale. Bella's eyes expanded with curiosity when she questioned the idea in such tales. She was intrigued. Vicky laughed and reassured them that stories frequently had a kernel of truth, which was precisely what they were looking for and why they were there in the first place. She cautioned them to exercise extreme caution because the waters were treacherous and alluring. Bella and her friends geared up for their dive with excited anticipation as they gathered their research materials and put on their scuba gear. They descended into the abyss, which opened their eyes to the marvels beneath the ocean's surface, such as thriving coral reefs and a wide variety of marine life. As the days passed into nights, Bella became increasingly enthralled by the story of the legendary shark. She noticed patterns in the sightings of the shark that suggested it had a more profound relationship with the island. Bella and Alex decided to investigate a spooky cave that had been on their minds for a while. They did so when the sun was setting. They entered and found an ancient cave with engravings depicting a fabled shark guarding the island. Bella was amazed by the sculptures and remarked that it appeared as though the shark was a protector of something important to the island's heritage. Alex nodded in agreement and observed that whatever it was, it carried a significant amount of importance. During this time, Captain Jerry and Professor Vicky were busy studying their research data to understand the shark's behavior better and to determine whether or not there was a connection between the shark and the island's history of piracy. As the mission went on, an uneasy feeling began to spread across the group. Rumors that the shark was nearby stoked excitement and anxiety in the crew members. Her desire propelled Bella forward, but she couldn't ignore the nagging feeling that the legendary creature was following their every step. When Bella and Alex were scuba diving one fatal night near a shipwreck, the great white shark suddenly materialized in front of them, creating an eerie shadow with its gigantic size. As she peered at the magnificent yet menacing creature, Bella's pulse raced as it raced faster and faster. Alex hushed them that they ought to return to the yacht, his gaze fixed on the shark the entire time. Despite this, Bella found herself pulled to the creature's stare 
and had the distinct impression that she was privy to something that transcended the passage of time. She concluded that the shark was not the monstrous creature represented in various traditions. As the journey drew to a close, Bella made a decision that surprised everyone. She concluded that it was best to keep some mysteries a mystery, and decided to keep the shark's secret a secret. She was aware that most people wouldn't get her reasoning, but she couldn't stand by and let the legendary beast be turned into another story used for amusement. After completing their task, Bella, Alex, Vicky, and Jerry sailed away from Bayfield Island. They took memories that would last a lifetime and a greater respect for the wild and unfathomable ocean secrets. As a result, the tale of the enormous shark continued to be kept a secret beneath the water's surface by the very island it defended. It turned into a story passed down from sailor to sailor, a tribute to the untamed wonders beyond the depths waiting to be uncovered by those courageous enough to pursue the truth. Bella's life has been irrevocably altered as a result of the journey. Her curiosity about aquatic life and her admiration for the mysterious creature increased as time passed. Bella carried on with her investigation while holding the recollections of Bayfield Island dear to her heart. After some time, Bella became a well-respected marine researcher famous for her pioneering work in shark protection. She would never forget the look of mesmerization on the shark's face she had experienced on that terrible night. In her imagination, the story of the enormous shark continued to exist as a constant reminder of the wild beauty of the ocean. Alex followed his interest in sailing and eventually became a well-known captain with a profound love for the ocean. He often thought back to their journey to Bayfield Island, cherishing the memories of his time spent with Bella and the secret they had solved together during their time there. The stories of the mythical shark that had become a part of nautical tradition served as Captain Jerry's navigational compass as he continued his voyages across the oceans. He entertained his crew with stories of the mysterious creature, ensuring the tale would be remembered for a long time. Professor Vicky, whose heart was filled with appreciation for the trip of a lifetime, decided to commit to educating future generations about the significance of protecting marine life and appreciating the untamed ocean secrets. She did this with the full knowledge that she would never forget the expedition. The tale of the enormous shark continued to captivate seafarers and explorers alike, motivating them to explore the great unknown while maintaining a sense of awe and respect for the marine life that made the ocean their home. The fact that Bella had found evidence of the legendary shark remained a closely guarded secret as the years passed. She knew that certain enigmas should be preserved in their unsolved state, since this would enable nature to keep its mysterious charm. The world may need to learn the truth about the gigantic shark. Still, for Bella, Alex, Vicky, and Jerry, the experience will remain a treasured memory permanently inscribed into their life's annals. As a result, the unconquerable mysteries of the ocean remained, calling out to the exploratory spirits among us to discover and decipher their hidden meanings. The story of the enormous shark would always serve as a reminder to Bella that marvels were designed to be kept firmly rooted in the domain of fantasy. This was where the line separating truth and myth was hazy, making way for aspirations to soar in the vastness of the vast ocean.